we are remaking the Guneri top today. Um, it's awesome to do this. I was not happy with the, the way the first one turned out. I said if I wasn't happy, we were going to remake it. So we're going to remake it. So let's get started. Okay, first things first, why am I not happy with the first top? So one, we made that integrated base bar, right? And you know, I, it's something I've experimented with and what I've found, I, I mean, I've made a number of instruments with these integrated base bars and it's something that the CNC is really good at. Um, and that's, but what it does, um, as far as I can tell, is it makes the instrument um, very direct. So the primary tone, the primary frequency of each string is very pronounced. Um, and the all of the harmonics of that string seem to be kind of very dull, right? So you don't get that really acoustic, um, intricate sound that, that you're looking for in an acoustic instrument, right? It's kind of a little bit of a flat sound. Now, in certain cases, that's a really good thing. Um, in a violin, it is not. <laughs> so, so, what we're going to do is we're going to remake it. We're going to do our sta uh, traditional bass bar. And uh, more than that, I'm going to show you guys uh, the changes I made. Um, I, I made some, a couple of minor, tiny little changes on the model. Um, but I also wanted to show you what I did to match up the contours. Uh, so one of, some of the comments in the previous videos. Uh, said that these contours were not Cremonese contours. Um, I think they were misinterpreting what I was trying to articulate about how I was modeling those surfaces. Um, so I will try to do a better job of that in the future. Um, but I'm going to do a, a cross-sectional analysis in Fusion 360 and show you guys the comparison of the Guaneri model um, curvatures that are on the back of the Strad poster. Um, second reason is stiffness, right? And uh, typically the way that um, violin builders uh, gauge whether a top is going to do what they want it to do is they'll, they'll actually flex it. And this top is very stiff. <laughs> so the spruce that I use for this is quite stiff stuff. So I need to take out some dimension here. Um, I'm using the same kind of stock for the second one, so I've got a good gauge of where I need to go with that. So hopefully this next one will go better and we'll end up with an instrument with a good tone. So that's what we're going for. Um, we don't want to go through all this work to come out with an instrument that doesn't sound very good. So secondly, um, my neck angle was not where it needed to be. So my bridge position was way too low. So I needed to take the neck off anyways. So while I was taking the neck off anyways, I figure I'll just remake this top. It's not that hard to do on the CNC. So here we go. Let's get started and uh, check this out.
Okay, what did you think? Um, we didn't get all the way through that one. I just got the purfling channels cut. We're gonna install the purfling. And we're gonna do another contour cut on the top, um, which is the same as the contour pass we just did on this one, but it's a little bit deeper. We're gonna, we're gonna bring it to the final thickness, and then we're gonna do an outline to do the final outline cuts. So everything's looking pretty good. It went really well. Um, I, I love cutting these arch tops on the CNC machine. They are awesome to cut. So. If you want the model for this one, uh, check out my Patreon page. I it's only $1 a month for everybody. That's all I have, one tier for everything. It's $1 a month. You get access to all of my Fusion 360 content on, on the channel here. Um, I, I really rely on your guys' input um, as to what we're gonna do next and how we're gonna build stuff and what, where we're going with these projects. So check it out. You guys are awesome. The channel's really growing. I'm really excited about everything. So I can't wait to get started on the next video. Um, we're doing some really cool stuff right now. We're doing a, we're doing a live stream um, where we're do, building a complete instrument and we're gonna give that thing away. It looks right now like that's gonna be an ES-335. We just built that 335 fat neck and uh, we're gonna build a body and we're gonna build one of these guitars and just give it away to a player. So that's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited about it. So check it out. Thanks for likes, thanks for subscriptions, and we will see you next time. <music>